Alright ladies and gentlemen, PDF files. So of course if you guys need something to edit and tweak and maybe even protect your PDF files, then I'm going to be showing you guys something by iSkySoft, which is today's sponsor, and they made this thing known as PDF Editor, and it's one of the most complete ways that you can tweak your PDF files that I've seen to date. As you guys can see, it says it's never been easier to edit, convert, create, secure, sign, watermark, OCR, or share your PDF files. Basically, if you get this, you can pretty much do everything you can possibly need to do with your PDF files. There's edit and convert, you can tweak forms, add signatures, and then of course there's even OCR, so you can scan to text really, really easily, and of course, they have a pretty solid amount of reviews as well, so this thing works, but we're going to be testing it out today, so let's see how well it works. Now keep in mind that this is going to be a set of two videos. One is going to be aimed towards the average person out there, so you guys want to maybe watermark, maybe tweak a few pages in your PDFs, maybe add a few smileys in there. This video is for you guys. However, I'm going to focus on more of the business end of things in another video, and that's where we're talking about like password protection and of course how to sign contracts and all that good stuff. So stay tuned for that one as well. It'll be dropping shortly. Now with that said, the PDF we're looking at today is a car manual because you know car manuals seem to have every type of thing you could possibly need when it comes to tweaking a PDF file. They have an absurd amount of pages, maybe you want to get rid of some, you might want to search, you might want to add notes, uh, you might want to tweak a little bit of text using one of the coolest functionalities inside of this software known as OCR, but we'll get to that in just a second. But anyhow, it's a pretty solid example and I thought I would go ahead and use it. So the first thing we're going to do is just take a look around and see what's up. So first of all, there are a variety of options that actually has a really similar feel to it like Word, except it's green. As you guys can see, there's the home section and here you can have form files. You can add files from a scanner. You can combine certain files to turn it into one big PDF file eventually. And then of course, you can choose your size of the text. There's ways to view uh, your pages continuously and a few other options too when it comes to viewing your pages you can actually jump to a certain page you can actually convert it to word right from here and you can even convert it to excel powerpoint image text epub html rtf hwp and hwpx so there are a pretty variety of options as to what you want to render this into now next off there is a view so if you want to add a few more ways of looking at things let's just try this out there's this way there's this way um if you want to fill up your monitor with it there's that way to do it and to get out of that just hit escape and as you guys can see you can jump through pages here and you can even tweak the type of way you're looking at it at a particular moment and if you want to capture a specific uh, part of the document you can do that as well say the only part you care about is your instrument cluster inside of your car because you're trying to get it get to know it better well in this case you can simply take a screenshot of that but it doesn't stop there you can actually move around that screenshot in case you want this little spot instead right click and you can reselect your screenshot region you can copy and exit the screenshot and of course the main option you can actually save as so if i were to go ahead and save as right now i could save it right there and just like that it would save to my documents and i could open up that image and just like that, I took a pretty awesome image of that particular section. Now, this could be particularly useful if your PDF file has a variety of images inside of it and you're just trying to get those images and nothing else. Sometimes that is the easiest way to get images off a PDF file. Now, there's one last option. You can actually add bookmarks. And as you guys can see, new bookmark new and just like that I have a bookmark placed in that particular section the next option is to leave some comments and you can actually get pretty creative with this depending on what you want so as you guys can see there are different ways and styles in which you can leave comments now we're actually not going to jump into this just yet until I turn this into an OCR file we'll get into that in just a second but I want to show you guys the shapes as well so if you want to add a rectangle in there because I don't know you want to remember Let's see, you want to remember that your remote control key is in this particular spot. Well, you can go ahead and simply highlight that little option. And you can keep on highlighting certain options simply by clicking this. You can add circles. You can add, I don't know, little tiny homes because why not? And then, of course, there are options for arrows, which might be really useful. And, of course, if you don't want certain things, you can even uh, erase certain parts of this. But the main option, of course, is to add some notes. This is where things are going to get really useful. So I'm going to add a note right here. And as you guys can see, it's just going to say, I don't know, we're going to put reminder to, I don't know, change oil. How's that? And just like that, you're pretty much set to go. There's a note 
right here. You can move that around, point it wherever you want, but just know that that note is over here. However, you can move that particular section around. So if you want it at the, let's see where the oil is, engine oil level section, you can move it around and place it over there as well. Really, really, really convenient. Now, there's also an option for a typewriter. So you can add a single line of text if you don't want to add a full on note. So I'm just going to go ahead and add some text directly into this instruction manual and how to fly mode. I wish my car could fly. And there you go. So just like that, you can actually take that and also move it around eventually as well. So we're just going to put this maybe, I don't know, let's put it right down there. Now, another option you have is a full on text box. If you want to make a text box and add a variety of text into there, maybe a full on paragraph that you're copying and pasting from the internet, you can do that as well. Now, more, more or less, that's pretty straightforward. So you guys should be set when it comes to that. And finally, you can actually have an area highlight. So I'm going to highlight that particular section and whatever note I add is going to correspond to that entire section. And you can keep on adding these as many places as you want. Let's jump around. Let's go to a more interesting page. This looks interesting. So let's say I want to highlight just this image right here. Well, just like that, I have that image highlighted and now I'll remember where to look. This could be particularly useful for maybe like uh, college stuff as well in case you guys have a PDF file and it's a massive book. If you want to highlight and add notes onto a particular section of that book or even add notes for studying later, that's one way to do it. But it can go in the business end of things as well. Let's say you have a massive PDF file full of statistics and things and you really want to jump to certain sections where well, you can add a variety of notes, bookmarks, and you'll be able to hop around that really, really easily rather than having to control F search every single time and look for whatever stat you're looking for at a particular time. Now. One last thing I want to show you guys is, of course, stamps. Now, these stamps do look a bit unusual. I wouldn't say they're the most professional in the entire world, but of course, they're pretty useful. So if you want to add a void stamp or maybe a witness stamp, a sign here stamp, um, a check mark, then you can go ahead and do that as well. I'm not really sure where to add these into here. Maybe I'll just add a check mark right here. Why not? And let's see. We're going to add a for public release down there. So you guys, you guys get the basic idea what you can do with that. However, as I said, they're not the most professional out there. So if you feel like creating your own custom stamp, the option is there as well. This is probably what most of you guys are going to end up doing. And of course, there's a hide annotations button. Next off, I'm going to jump into edit. This is where things get a little bit interesting. So I do want to go and jump into page before I jump into edit because edit is such an in-depth section. So before I go to that, as you can see, there are like a hundred pages in this PDF. And just like this, you can actually flip these pages in case you want some of them flipped and some not because sometimes what happens is PDF, uh, sometimes your scan files mess up and some pages are actually the right way and other pages are upside down. So this is a really convenient way to fix that problem I've had in the past. Other times you really don't want a particular image inside of your PDF or a particular entire page. So you simply go ahead and delete that. And just like that, we no longer have what used to be page 34. Now, if you want to select a bunch of these, you can actually go and delete a variety of these as well. Now, the best way to do this that I found is to just go 01 through, let's say 94. Let's delete all of those. And just like that, it will delete all of those. But you know what? I still have way too many pages. I want to only have around five left. So there's 203 pages left. Let's say I want around 200 left. So we're going to go ahead and add in those numbers this time. So as you, can, as you can see, it is super convenient. I'm about to delete 200 pages and I had to do none of that manually. But you guys can see that there are there is a little bit of leeway here as well. So there's the subset, even and odd pages, even pages, odd pages. So if you want to do that in a particular way, I'm not sure why you would need that feature, but if you do, then it's a really simple way to do so. So as you guys can see, we are down to around four pages, which is great. So then there's the option to add page boxes. So if I want to go and crop a page, so it's only down to maybe like half its size, I can go ahead and do that. And just like that, I have cropped an entire page. How cool is that? I'm sure you guys can imagine how convenient that can be in certain situations. So if I were to go and select all four of these, there's the option to extract them, to insert them. And then there's the option to split and replace them as well. Heck, you can even add page labels if you need to do so. Now, those aren't the most important ones. We're actually going to jump back into edit in just a second. I do want to mention that these two sections exist. There's an entire two sections devoted to your form and, of course, your protection for your PDF document. There's a whole password manager built into there. There's a document sign section. But as I said, those are more towards the business end of things. So that's going to be saved for the next video. Last but not least, I want to show you guys how you can get a little creative with your 
PDF file. So as you can see, we can add text like always, text, texty, I guess. <laughs> and then of course you can add an image into here as well. Now, if you guys remember, I had that image a little bit back. So you know what? Let's just add that into here. Look how big that is. Now, this is the coolest option. This is known as OCR. What it does is it looks for text and it submits it to a database that's filled with English words and it takes those images of certain words and it converts them into actual editable text due to, well, so you can do whatever you need on a certain page. You guys can just, once again, imagine how many possibilities there are with just that option. So I'm gonna hit OCR. You do need to download something. I have the full version for this option to work. And I'm just like that. I'm gonna hit OK. Performing OCR. It may take a few minutes for a large document. So we're just gonna come back and see if this thing works properly. All right, so I just completed it. We're gonna focus on page 95 for now. And I'm actually gonna go into view, home, comment, edit. Let's jump into this section. I'm gonna hit the edit tool. And as you guys can see, look at that. It actually converted it directly into text. Now, the big thing here is that it's not gonna get it perfect. As you can see, some of the words are kind of messed up, but the coolest thing is that you can go and fix those words just like that. Well, unless you don't know how to spell like me, select. There you go. So you can tweak every single, well, almost every single word that it recognizes. As you can see, dynamic, modes, it even recognizes the bold print, it even recognized arrows. How awesome is that? You can move around your text and you can delete entire chunks of paragraphs if you wish to do that. It's super, super convenient, but the most convenient option is the fact that you can add entire paragraphs and add entire sections of text if you want to do so. So as you can see, I'm just adding to this instruction manual that completely does not belong to me and adding gibberish to it that will confuse the heck out of whoever reads this next. So yeah, to put that out there, this is one of the best options and the coolest things that this software comes with. Now this video is getting kind of long, so I'm going to finish off with the obvious features. There's the option to tweak the background and there's the option to add a watermark. You can also tweak the header and the footer and you can also go and update or remove anything you add here as well. Finally, there's Bates numbering. So if you want to tweak the numbering system of your pages, you can do that as well. But overall, that's about it. Just know that there is the overall UI and the overall feel for it is really similar to Word, so you should be able to just jump in here and be able to do what you wish to do. There's a tab functionality, which kind of reminds me of maybe like Chrome as well here, and you can actually go and add as many PDF files as you want, so you can actually work on multiple and copy and paste things from one to another really, really conveniently. Your bookmarks, comments are all on this left section. You have properties on the right. Your overall tab section is up here, and the last thing I have to show you guys is, of course, how to export. So we made this beautiful document over here that's a mess of gibberish and I completely destroyed this manual so lord help whoever gets this next but just in case you want to pass this on you can go and save as so I'm going to go and save as actually it might be easier just to do this directly from home so I'm just going to convert it to let's say convert it to an epub file because why not and hit okay we're going to save this to uh, let's say my desktop it will take around two seconds and just like that it has saved and converted it directly to an EPUB file. I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. So let's open this up and I'm gonna sort this by, okay, I can't sort that. Let's see if I can find it. There it is, there is my EPUB file. How awesome is that? So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If so, leave a like and don't forget to subscribe if you're someone who deals with PDF files all the time, maybe on the business end of things, maybe at home, maybe work from home, maybe you're just a college student. This is super convenient. You see PDF files everywhere and importing it into this and being able to tweak text, add notes, highlight certain things, delete images, add images, screenshot things, everything you could possibly ever need is built directly into this. So go ahead and check out the link below. Stay tuned for the next video if you're interested in foam form filling and all that. Thank you guys for watching. This is going to be me logging off.